Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mindful Moments on this lovely Wednesday. Um, today, as we've sort of started this week in a little bit of a different mode than the yoga classes and movement that I have been doing, um, this week I think I'd like to continue on with a little bit more of uh, the mindfulness aspect of it and um, allowing us to experience a little bit more meditation, relaxation, and visualization in that way, um, and then having a little opportunity for your own independent practice that I'll tell you more about a little bit later. So to begin, go ahead and settle yourself into a comfortable seat. For this first activity, it will be helpful if you are sitting upright, but it is possible to do it on your back if you wish. Um, but the encouragement is to be sitting upright, finding yourself feeling grounded and as centered as you can right now. And we'll start by taking three deep breaths in together. So take a deep breath in through your nose and let it out through your mouth. Again, breathing in and out. And last time, breathing in and let it out with an audible sigh. <sighs> Go ahead and bring your hands in front of you so that at least the bottoms of your palms are meeting. And you're bringing your hands together to almost look like a flower. Now, perhaps your flower is very open and it's blooming like this. Perhaps your flower is a little more closed and you bring your pinkies and your thumbs to touch. Now, as you hold your flower in front of your heart, imagine what it looks like. What kind of flower is it? What color is your flower? Go ahead and smell your flower. See how it smells. And as you take a deep breath in, go ahead and allow your flower to rise up and reach up towards the sun. And as you blow it out, it can come down back to your heart space, maybe closing up a little bit in the moonlight. Again, breathing in, reaching up, allowing your flower to reach towards the sun. And breathe out, bringing your flower back down to your heart space. One more time, breathe in, reaching up. And breathe out, bringing your, heart, your flower back down to your heart space. Maybe allow your flower to open one more time to take a look at it. Imagine the petals, the shape of the petals, the colors. Maybe there are more than one color in your flower. This is all for your own imagination. It's a flower that's just for you. And now, we are a little bit distant from each other here in physical space, but energetically we can come together. So let's go ahead and open up our flowers towards each other, towards the screen here, and imagine that you are touching someone else's hands in our community, someone else who's participating with us and doing this flower breathing. And we'll breathe in together and grow our whole garden, breathing in, reaching our flowers up towards the sun together. And breathing out, bringing our flowers back down. Beautiful, one more time, breathing in, reaching our flowers up together, growing our garden. And breathing out, bringing our flowers back down. One last time, breathe in, grow your garden, maybe as tall as your flower has gotten today, all the way up. And breathe out, bringing your flower back down and returning your flower back to your heart space. Taking one more smell of that magnificent scent. One more time, breathing in, reaching your own flower up towards the sun and breathing out, bringing it down. Maybe your palms come to touch as we finish up our flower breathing here. And you can keep your hands here or you can bring them down to your knees if that's comfortable. Finding another comfortable position, making any adjustments that you might need to 
So we'll be sitting here probably for another five minutes or so. So again, connecting with your breathing, remembering perhaps that beautiful flower that you just had in your mind. And as you breathe in, you see it blooming and opening up. And as you breathe out, perhaps it closes and protects itself, holding all of its energy in. Again, breathing in, and letting it go. And as you settle into this space here, where we're breathing together, perhaps you keep a, so a short memory of your flower somewhere in the back of your mind, or perhaps you let it go for now. And draw, begin to draw your attention to your feelings. How are you feeling right now? There are many things going on inside all of our families, inside all of our homes, and inside our community, inside the world. So many things happening. And how are you feeling among all of it? Perhaps you're a little bit nervous or unsure. Perhaps you're happy and excited about the possibilities. Perhaps you're grateful for having some more time with your families. Perhaps you're a little sad for not being able to see all of the friends you normally see. Perhaps even though we're distant from each other, maybe part of you feels connected in some way. Thankful to be able to still know that we're all there even though we're not together in the same space. And take another deep breath in, acknowledging your feelings, knowing that whatever it is that you're feeling right now is absolutely perfect. There's nothing you have to change. Our feelings are part of us. And it's always okay to have these feelings. Now, as you continue breathing, start to notice some of the things that maybe some of these feelings make you think about. What thoughts do you have? And questions. What are you wondering about? What are you curious about? Take a deep breath in. And let it out. Again, breathing in and letting it out. One more time, breathing in, letting it out. And now finally, let's think a little bit about what's something that you'd like to do to express your feelings. What's something that you could create? A piece of art that you could create or make? Perhaps a drawing or a painting? Perhaps writing a story or journaling about how you're feeling and the kinds of things you're wondering about. Perhaps you'd like to write a letter to a friend. All of these are possibilities for things that you can do when you're feeling any kind of way. So let's take one more deep breath in and let it out. Start to bring some movement back into your fingers and toes. You can reach your arms out wide, 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 stretching, and then closing them in, maybe giving yourself a little bit of a hug here. You can stretch your shoulders at the same time. And gently blinking, open your eyes to return to the space. And now that you've had a chance to really sit with yourself and think about how you're feeling, what you're thinking about, and something you'd like to do for that, I encourage you 
to go ahead and find some art supplies or maybe just a pen and paper or pencil and paper. Take those feelings and those thoughts and express yourself somehow. Make something beautiful to share with the world. Make something that's entirely your own to share how you're feeling. And if you feel called to, I would love to see what you come up with. So you can comment and share photos, you can send me an email, any of those options so that we can share with each other the kinds of things that we're able to create when we connect in with our feelings and our thoughts. I will say that for my part, I received this beautiful cloth mask from Ms. Collis Piero, our wonderful handwork teacher. Um, and I am feeling called to decorate this, to really make it my own because I am wearing this when I go outside to keep myself safe and to keep everyone else safe as well. And I would like others to see how that makes me feel. It makes me feel grateful to be able to make the choice to take care of myself and take care of others. And I want as many people as I can let know to know that this is something that's important to me and I want the best for everybody. So I am going to decorate this face mask and when I'm all done with it, I will snap a picture and I will share it with you here. Um, I will upload it in the comments um, and share it with you there. So I would love to see all of your wonderful creativity and your beautiful emotions and feelings and thoughts shining through your own work as well. So we will close today in this portion uh, with um, good wishes for you to be able to create something that means something to you in this time, in this moment. We can bring our hands to heart center and we'll close by saying namaste.